Basically what I want to say about working out, what it's really like with three kids is you have to be flexible. You have to be open to getting interrupted. You have to be open to it taking literally all day. Sometimes I'll do the stretching pelvic floor in the core in the morning and I'll do my exercises in the afternoon or vice versa or like whenever I have time because I can usually do the stretching in the core with them and then I can get like the workout piece done which then takes like 20 minutes separately so there's like a lot of different ways that you can make this work for you hey guys my name is Shayla welcome to my channel if this is your first time here we talk about motherhood we talk about pregnancy we do things kind of eco-friendly kind of natural kind of hippie kind of granola if you're into that and you also like to do those things or into those things please subscribe like the video if you're not new here welcome back I have it almost four-year-old and almost two-year-old and I'm 22 weeks pregnant with our third and today I'm gonna talk to you about how working out during my third pregnancy is really going. Working out during pregnancy is probably a good idea. Can I just do it the normal way? No. There's lots of things that you don't know that happen during pregnancy that you need to know. And I have the guide, the guide that I've used for four years. And I just swear by it. So first of all, I've had, I'm obsessed with this like lavender latte at Starbucks. Mm. The lavender matcha also delicious, but not dairy free, even though it's oat milk, just... FYI. This was a decaf, so I think I'm just feeling better. I've been feeling really ill the last few weeks, and now I just have like energy, and now I'm just like Brr! So pardon me for the excessive energy, but before I had children, I worked out fairly frequently. I was not like a gym rat or anything die hard, but I like, oh, go get my fitness on, cool, whatever. Then my, I started dating my husband who like worked out every day at like 5 a.m. So I started going with him just cause I like am clingy and wanted to spend a lot of time with him. And I was like, yeah, working out's good, I guess. And got in the best shape of my life and then got pregnant. <laughs> Not surprisingly. <laughs> I just kind of like kept working out during pregnancy, like normal. And I'm like, this should be fine. No, there's a hormone that's released when you're pregnant that makes your joints and ligaments all like loosey goosey. So you have to be very careful with what you're doing. You also need to work your pelvic floor, which I didn't even really know. I'm like, Kegels, yeah. Kegels? I don't even think I say it right. I didn't know what any of that was. And so in my third trimester of my first pregnancy, I found Expecting and Empowered. That's my big secret reveal. Expecting and Empowered. Probably 2020. Cause like around the time that I found it, the gym's closed and I was like, well, this is convenient. I have this workout program that I can use and it's literally week by week of your pregnancy. So it gives you exactly what you need to do. Expecting Empowered is sponsoring this video, but I also am really excited to make it because I truly, truly believe that it helps you so much during your pregnancy and postpartum. And I know it helps so much because I have been very sick like the last month ish and I haven't been able to work and my body hurts. So I'll get into that in a second. But Expecting Empowered, it was created by two sisters, a woman's health physical therapist. So she has you do all of these pelvic floor work. She has you do all these stretches. This is one of the stretches. Like what, what does this do? But it feels real good. My sister does these workouts at her gym at her work. And she's like, what's that owl one? I feel like such a silly person doing this at the gym. Too bad for you because my kids love it when I do this at home. So she does PT. So you do a little bit of PT, physical therapy to prepare for labor. And then afterwards to repair from labor. So it's a woman's health physical therapist, a nurse who's also a doula. And I've seen like the evolution of this company. So it used to be like you'd get a PDF and you'd go through the pages of like the workouts. Now they have an app and I'll show you the app in a second. And I just, it's just the best because there's things that you don't know. Like some parts of your pregnancy, you want to be doing like lateral movements. So you're doing like squats and other parts you want to be doing bilateral like lunges. I don't know which is which, but that's why you follow the app. So they have pregnancy in there week by week postpartum in there, which is how I've been doing it for four years because I just do the postpartum afterwards. Getting back to running, they have yoga, they have core. That one I was obsessed with after my first because after a certain amount you can do the core work and it's like a 12 week program. It was amazing. Oh, and elevated and power. So once you're not postpartum anymore and you're not getting pregnant, you can do the elevated and power, which is just a workout. And so it used to be where these workouts would take me like 45 to an hour, which was fine when I was pregnant with my first because I just had all the time in the world. But now they've gotten a lot of feedback from people who are like, can we like consolidate this and make it quick. So now it typically takes me 35 minutes to get it done and I am like sweating on the days that I really want to push it. So I found it with my first pregnancy, did the postpartum after my first baby. I did 75 hard, which is 75 days of working out twice a day, drinking a gallon of water, reading books. Like it's just this super intense thing. And I was like, mm, I am feeling it. And I am like pretty good friends with the Expecting Empowered ladies. And they're like, if we, were to post our before and afters of like people who use our program, we would sell way more. 
but we don't care about your physical before and after. I'm a woman's health physical therapist. I wanna make sure that your body is functioning properly, that your pelvic floor is functioning properly. So that's like the main focus. So we did 75 hard, then I got pregnant again, and I was able to like work out pretty consistently through my second pregnancy. It was a little more complicated, but I did. This one, woof. I remember when we were trying to get pregnant, I was like adamant about working out every day. So I was like, we're gonna get back. We're gonna start strong here. Then I found out I was pregnant and I was like, now I really need to work out every day until that first trimester like hits me. And it did. So I worked out until I started to feel sick and then I didn't work out because it's your first trimester. And I asked them about this. I was like, okay, you have a first trimester guide, but like, ugh. And they were like, just start. If you do five minutes or you just do the pelvic floor work, awesome. And maybe you do it and you feel good and you finish it or maybe you do it and you're like, that's enough and you stop. But it's just nice to have that guide. And so I got out of the first trimester, was good for like a week, and then got COVID. And then we went to Arizona and I didn't rest. And then we got back and I got sick. So I've been sick for like at least a month or so. So have I been working out? No, but I do still try and do the stretches and the pelvic floor work at least. And do you know what I've noticed by not working out for a month? My body hurts. My back hurts. Like shoulders hurt. I just like feel weak kind of. It's just, I just don't feel great. And I had a friend who didn't do this program for their first and did do it for their second and had just a completely different recovery. She said it was night and day. And I haven't been doing it. And after we got back from Arizona and I got sick, I got this cough and it's like really strong, aggressive cough. And sometimes slash most of the time slash when it got really bad, I would pee when I would cough and I was like okay this is a sign that I need to start doing my workouts again because I don't want to pee when I cough and just the general like achiness of my body I know is from not working out because my body's changing and I need the muscle and I need the, like the activity and the blood pumping and everything to like keep everything feeling good for myself so if you're like what I've never worked out before can I do this yes because you can take it at your pace you could do like no weights you could do light weights or if you're like I work out really hard is this program gonna be really easy it could be or you could do super heavy weights not super heavy weights, but weights appropriate for what you lift and you can make it harder. And like, sometimes I am sweating at the end of these workouts. So it really is kind of what you put into it or what you're able to do. So I would say no matter where you're on the spectrum, it's a yes. I'm gonna show you a tour of the app so you can actually see what it is because that was my biggest question. I was like, what do you mean it's an app? So are we doing like a 35 minute video that I'm following along with or what are we doing? And they kind of, I'll show you, but it loops. So it'll show you an exercise and it video is kind of like a gift, like it keeps looping. Then you go to the next exercise, then you go to the next exercise and they do it in circuit. So you have five minutes to do these three exercises exercises however many times you can um, which I love because I'm working out with my children around typically one will have to go to the bathroom quickly or one wants a snack or one wants this or one wants or they start crawling on me in these workouts I can like pause it and be like okay Let's go get you to go to the potty or like, let's go get you a snack or let's go get you whatever. So I love that I can just be like pot. But something that I also didn't know, DR, diastasis recti or something, is when your abs split. So you should never, when you're pregnant, sit like straight up out of bed. And if you do that and you see your stomach like cone, that's bad. You don't want to do that. If you have that, they have exercises and modifications for DR. You always want to roll on your side, push yourself up and then get out of bed. But that's another thing, if like you're having the coning, it's not good, so you should try and do some of these workouts. And if you're cheap like me and you're like, I'll just do month to month, because I'm only gonna do it through pregnancy, I don't need to really do it postpartum, just sign up for the year. Just sign up for the year, trust me, because you're gonna want the postpartum stuff. The postpartum stuff can start day one and it's just pelvic floor stuff really easy. Like they ease, very much ease you into it and then you can start get going. But oftentimes, this is, it looks like I need to do squats and instead of grabbing a dumbbell, I grab my child and just have them sit in my hands and I squat them. Or they're on my shoulders when I'm doing lunges across the room. Or I use their weight when I do RDLs or whatever. Like these do not look like typical workouts. If you're able to get to the gym, this is fantastic for the gym. You can just crush it in the gym. But if you're home with your kids, your other two kids or no kids or five kids or whatever, it's gonna look different 1000%. And you need to accept that so that you don't get just really frustrated. Because I'm a big fan of 
if I can just get my blood pumping a little bit, like that was a success. Sometimes I try to speed through it with good form just to get my heart rate going or I'll wait to, I'll put my workout in like the last 40 minutes of like my childcare so that I know that I just have to like slam it out. Also, if you are gonna work out, please get yourself some electrolytes. There's a N-U-U-N brand at Target that my midwife recommended because there's no sugar in it. I'm drinking Element lately. The liquid IV has too much sugar says my midwife. There's a bunch, there's a ton of different electrolytes out there. My muscles will like lock up if I don't do it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the app because I feel like that's really helpful to see. Like for expecting and empowered. So you get in here, but then within the strength you have, this is second trimester, third trimester. This is postpartum vaginal delivery, postpartum C-section delivery, and then the elevated and empowered and then the first trimester I did that, so it's at the bottom. I'll go second trimester. It tells you the equipment you need. I don't have sliders. I usually use a toy that I find on the ground. Chair I have, exercise ball. Sometimes I use a pillow or I'll just use a dumbbell. I don't have the resistance bands or the door anchor that I should probably get. I'm at 21 weeks now. When this comes out, it'll be 22, but let's just do lower body, 21. Flexibility and pelvic floor, four circuits, and then there's core. So you do start workout, and you could say which one you want to start with, flexibility, circuit core. When I'm feeling sick, I just do pelvic floor and core. I'll just show you what it is. So I'm ready. So here it says dumbbell hip hinge with weight posterior and tall knees. And if you're like, what is she doing? You press this little I and it'll give you like more information about what you're doing. So then the timer is timing you. This one, it's just however long it takes you. So you do that workout, you press next. The side bend, you press next. Other side bend, next. Hip opener, next. Hip opener. And then it's like, okay, you want to take a break or go? I usually skip break. Then this is the actual workout. So you've got, what did I say, four circuits. So here's a squat to press out. So you squat down, press out. And it just loops and shows you that. But it's timing. It's five minutes and the timer's going down. So then you go next, RDLs. And if you don't know what it is, again, you just press that button. Then you have a squat. And then you do next again. Brings you back to the first one. Squat, press out. And so I usually try to do these twice through and it'll take me to the next one. So then here's the next exercise, next exercise, next exercise. See, that's a burpee. This is a pregnancy burpee. See what I'm saying? Then we're at core. It's timing you down three minutes. And then the star at the bottom gets you the DR modification if you need that. And that's it. When you finish, it celebrates. You've done it. You've got the cardio stuff, 20 minute beginner run, take postpartum running assessment, and it's like a PT assessment. You've got core. This is the core program I was talking about. It's a 12 week program. Then yoga. So you have introduction to prenatal yoga, first trimester restorative yoga, first trimester slow flow, second trimester restorative, second trimester slow flow. I know I'm kind of aggressively showing you this specific app, but like I said, I, if you're looking for a workout guide for pregnancy and or postpartum, I just can't recommend it enough. I am an affiliate with them. So if you can go to heysheila.com slash E and E, or you can type out heysheila.com slash expecting and empowered, you can use my code heysheila and it'll give you a discount. So. I hope this was helpful and not annoying. Sometimes I hate doing like dedicated reviews like this because I'm like, this is just, this could be annoying. And for some people it probably is. And for other people they're like, thank you for showing all of the details because I've considered doing it, but I wanted to know more information. I read all of my comments. So if you have a question about this, please just DM me. If I don't know, Expecting Empowered's DMs are phenomenal. They have somebody in there just answering all the stuff, even though it's a huge account. Like if you have questions, send them a DM. Basically what I want to say about working out, what it's really like with three kids is you have to be flexible. You have to be open to getting interrupted. You have to be open to it taking literally all day. Sometimes I'll do the stretching, the pelvic floor and the core in the morning, and I'll do my exercises in the afternoon or vice versa or like whenever I have time, because I can usually do the stretching in the core with them. And then I can get like the workout piece done, which then takes like 20 minutes separately. So there's like a lot of different ways that you can make this work for you. And I just, one, from not having been able to work out lately, like I'm excited to be able to get back into it because I just know how my body feels when I'm working out. But also hearing from other people who are like, it was just night and day different with my first and my second. But they do things that are really annoying. Like they do 30 leg lifts on this side, then 30 leg lifts on this side, then 30 circles on this side, and 30 circles. On... And they're like, you probably notice that there's a ton of repetition towards the end. And I'm like, yeah, it's the worst. My hips are burning. 30 is a lot. And they're like, yeah, we're preparing you for labor. Like we're mentally preparing you that you're in it for the long haul. And I was like, thanks. I love that for me.
I have had them on a couple of podcasts if you want to learn. They said that like um, moms who work out during pregnancy, their babies have a higher APGAR, APGAR score. I don't know. I just feel better. So enough of that. If you are interested in it and you have a question, DM me on Instagram or just comment on this video. And if you are interested, heyshayla.com slash expecting and empowered. Use the code heyshayla. I hope this was helpful. See you guys next time.